Nandini held Manamekali's muzzle slightly upright and gazed into her blooming eyes. She said, My Kanmani. It is better that you keep your secret from me. It has not even been a day since you got used to me. You should tell your secret only to friends you have known for a long time. No sister. When I see you, I feel like a long time familiar friend. My heart urges me to tell them what I have never told anyone. It gives me the courage to ask them what I should not ask anyone. Shut up then, honey. The desert apparition they say in the stories, can it really happen, sister? Does it appear as if someone is not in front of us? Sometimes it seems like that, if we have too much desire for someone, his image seems to be there even if it is not in front of us. If we have too much hatred for someone, his image also appears. Haven't you heard the story of Maya Kanan, Manamekali? Why? Have you even seen the play? Kamsa has a lot of hatred for Krishna. So Kanda Krishna appeared everywhere. He threw away the knife and became deluded. A gopi called Napana was very fond of Kanan. She too would appear wherever there was no image of Kanan. She would embrace the pillar, the tree, and the flood of the river as Kanan and be disappointed. Oh, Manamekali, who is the magical Kanan who bewitched you like that? Sister. I saw him for the first time four months ago. Before that, my Tamayan Kanamaran had often told me about him. His image never appeared before my eyes. After seeing him once, he often appeared in my dreams. Even during the day, sometimes his image stood in front of me. Like. Didn't you see the ethereal appearance of that illusion yesterday? Yes, sister. How did you know? Didn't someone tell you about me having magical powers? Yes, they said it was true, sister. Examine yourself and find out, if you want to find out who is that handsome young man who stole your heart, let me tell you with my magical power. Tell me, I'm too shy to say his name. Nandini closed her eyes for a while and then opened them and said, The lover of desire who stole your heart is Valaverayan Vandiyathevan who came from the monkey clan. Isn't he? She said. Sister. It's true you have magical powers. Said Manamekali. Little girl. When you have lost your heart so far to someone, why didn't you tell your Tamayan about it? Will I show my desire to Madhurand Hagar? Will I bring Kari Kaler here and make vain efforts? Will I be summoned here unnecessarily? Sister. My Damayan Kanamaran doesn't like him. It's beautiful. Your Tamayana is going to get married? But you said Kanthamaran himself told you about Vandiyadeva? Was it your Tamayana when you brought him here? Yes, it was Kanamaran who told him about him. He brought him to that place for a day. But later he changed his mind, there is a reason for that. He stabbed my Tamayan at Tanjavur, sister. What if my Tamayan lay wounded in your palace? It was only because of your loving care that he survived. Your Tamayan is exaggerating what I did. If it goes away, what will you do now? Has the man who captivated your heart become your Tamayan's enemy like this? But you know what he's saying. If this one, who? It is he. You mentioned the name a moment ago, it is he. He swears that he did not stab Kandamaran. He says that someone else had stabbed Tanjavur Ford on the edge of the wall, and that he took it and saved it. When did he tell you this? Just yesterday. Did you see that Vandiyadeva yesterday, didn't you say you saw his ethereal form? That's the only thing I'm confused about, sister. I don't know if it was him I saw yesterday, or his apparition. Considering what happened yesterday, everything seems like a dream. Sister. Sometimes they say that when people die, their spirits come and talk, is that true? Manamegali's voice was full of panic when she asked this question. Nandini's body trembled and looked at the top of her head somewhere, yes, it's true. In Apayil, the ghosts of the dead come and visit the living. If someone has killed someone by cutting off their head, sometimes only the head comes. Sometimes only the body comes alone. 
sometimes both come separately and say, blame. Did you buy it, we'll ask, she said. Then he looked at Manamekali and said in a loud voice, little girl. Why do you ask this question? Are you afraid that something like that might happen to your lover? Who has raised this suspicion in your mind? She said. There is a man possessed by this palace. I sent for him. Someone beat him up last night. He was replaced by Pentadi Devarati, she said. Chi Chi. Don't you believe all that? I don't believe it either. If it's just spirit form, it's untouchable, sister. You can't touch the spirit, you can't touch the ethereal form. Why do you ask? Did you touch the one who captivated your soul yesterday, what? That is the only confusion, and it seems to have been touched, but to think of some other things is also doubtful. Tell me all that happened yesterday in detail, girl. I will clear your doubts. That's it, sister. Ask me if I'm wrong. Said Manamekali. Then she said, yesterday I was here about this time. I came to see that the maids had made all the comforts they needed here, as my Tamayan had told me. Once, I was looking at my face in the looking glass. Make yourself look at your beauty. None of that, sister. I don't know my face symbol, what? What's wrong with your facial features? Won't Rathi and Indrani and Manak and Urvashi be jealous of you? They don't all get dust off your feet, sister. Okay, okay. Say it up. You were looking at your face in the mirror. Then suddenly another face appeared in the mirror, nearer to mine. That's your boyfriend's face. Yes, I was blown away. Why do you want to throw it away? You said that you often see his face in your dreams. There was a little difference between that and this. In dreams, the opposite is seen at a little distance. The same is true in space. But here it's too shy to tell from behind. Never mind, you liar. It was as if he was coming to kiss me on the cheek from behind. I was startled and looked back. No one was there. Then I didn't see the face in the mirror either. I had a doubt. Didn't I open the secret door of the hunting hall next to this room? Yesterday the mirror was right next to that door. So I opened that door and left the hunting hall. It seemed that someone would peek in. I thought it couldn't be like that. How could an alien man have come to that hunting hall? However, to clear my doubts, I opened the door and went inside the hunting hall. By now Nandini had begun to listen eagerly. Was that thief hiding in the hunting hall? Was he caught? She asked. What sister, you call him a thief? Thief, a real thief? I told you the thief who caught your fancy. Was he in the hunting hall? That's a miracle. He wasn't there. Instead, our palace servant I Tumpankari was cleaning the room. His face looked like the black face of the woodcutter at the door of the Ioner temple. Has anyone else come here? I asked, he managed to say no. Do you think he's lying? I don't know what it was but another man seemed to be hiding in the hall. I came back to this room to let the thief reveal himself. Is the theft out? Listen. I came into this room and was watching to see if I could hear any voices in the hunting hall. I heard voices. I heard something fall. Just as I was thinking about what to do, the door swung open. I hid the lamp and waited. In this door there was a round door. There is a small inner door and a figure opens it and sees it coming in. Danger, danger. Save me, said the voice. As the voice and figure seemed to be his, he helped me to come into this room and turned on the lamp. It was him. Manamekali. What a miracle. Isn't it like Vikramaditya's story? Ask again. My heart swelled when I saw him in my dreams for four months, my body shuddered. But I spoke to him with feigned anger. How could he sneak into that temple where women live? I asked. He said that some people were chasing him to kill him. He was in fear of his life, and he assured me that he had no weapon. 
Then I told my brother that he had stabbed him in the back. He swore, not at all, sister. You'll make believe too. It was believable at the time, but when I think about everything that happened later, I don't know what to believe and what not to believe. Then what other wonder happened? I didn't have the courage to do that either. If the father sees that he has entered the gate, his life will be in danger immediately. So I told him to stay here for a while and opened the door to see who was inside the hunting hall. Inside there were five or six people, corner to corner along the wall. They seemed stunned to see me. Seeing them like that gave me some fear. Overcoming the fear, I opened my mouth to summon fury and ask who they were. Meanwhile, my friend Chandramati in this room called out through another door mother. Mother. She called and brought it. I immediately remembered that he was here. I was afraid that Chandramati was going to scream after seeing him. I turned back so that I could take another look at the people inside the hunting hall. I took Chandramati too and came into this room. Missing him here, he disappeared mysteriously. Has anyone been here? I asked Chandramathi and she said she did not see it. After some more searching, I went into the hunting hall again. There were none of the people I had seen before. I Tumpankari was cleaning the room just like before. Who were the people who came here earlier? Where are they now? I asked that. I Tumpankari no one comes here, mother. He achieved that as a single achievement. I couldn't believe his word. My friend Chandra Matteo started teasing me. Sister. There's something paranoid about you today. Where there is no man there seems to be a man, she said. Then she informed that you all are approaching the fort gate. She also said that my father asked me to come immediately to welcome them. Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Where there is no man there seems to be a man, she said. Then she informed that you all are approaching the fort gate. She also said that my father asked me to come immediately to welcome them. Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Where there is no man there seems to be a man, she said. Then she informed that you all are approaching the fort gate. She also said that my father asked me to come immediately to welcome them. Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Then she informed that you all are approaching the fort gate. She also said that my father asked me to come immediately to welcome them. Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Then she informed that you all are approaching the fort gate. She also said that my father asked me to come immediately to welcome them. 
Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Immediately I left for the palace gate. In order to reach there quickly, I walked in the same way as Chandramati, crossed two barriers, climbed through Machu Petty and walked to the upper floor. Then again I happened to see a miracle. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. The warrior of the monkey clan was crossing the moon courtyard and walking along the side of the wall. I also saw him climb over the wall by placing a bamboo pole on the wall. It seemed so to my eyes. I'm still not sure if it's all real or just my paranoia. Nandini was deep in thought. The two faces she had seen yesterday evening among the thick trees appeared before her mind's eye, not far from the door of the mansion. She also knew that horsemen had been sent to capture them. Could they possibly be caught up in this? If caught, will they be brought here? Sister. What do you think? Hearing that, Manamekali stopped Nandini from thinking. Nandini said, Me. Are you listening to what I feel? You seem to be infatuated well, said Nandini. Are you teasing like Chandramati? I'm not kidding. I don't know if it's reality, a dream, or paranoia, seeing and speaking. How can I tell? Is there some other secret way to get out of this room? There is no other secret way that I know of. Sister. Couldn't he have gone the way you and Chandramati went and climbed up the molehill? There were many maids in the way, sister. They couldn't have been unaware. It's amazing, you didn't tell your father about all this. I didn't tell you, sister. I'm too shy to tell my father, I'm afraid. Maybe if what he came here for is true. Yes, it's better not to tell the men about this, even if they don't understand. I am thinking whether to tell my cousin or not. If you tell him, it will be a disaster. Your uncle now wants to marry you off to carry Kalen somehow. Sister. You are the one who should help me. Kanamaran is very loyal to you. If you tell him, he will listen. Little girl. Against the purpose of which I came here, do you ask my help? You are so wicked. Even if you give up the idea of giving yourself to carry Kaler in marriage, you know nothing of the other? How sure is he that he will love you? I don't care about that, sister. Whether he likes me or not. That's how it is with women. No matter how men behave, women have to die for them. Let's see how your luck is. If something like yesterday happens again, you'll tell me, won't you? Who else but you, sister? I had a dream last night and I want to tell you. As if the daydream was not enough, did you have another dream at night? What was it? Did he come in your dream again and cheat you? No, no. It's a terrible thing to think about. They say dreams in the morning come true. Is that true, sister? Tell me about the dream. The other thing is, did you dream about anyone else? About him. 
it was as if someone was stabbing him. He had no weapon in his hand. But there was a knife lying on the ground, gleaming and glittering. I jumped up and ran. I ran with the intention of stabbing him first. As I approached, his face I knew. He was my Damayan Kandamaran. I woke up screaming oh. My whole body was drenched in sweat. My hands and feet were shaking for a long time. The dream was so real. Maybe this will work, sister. Bad girl. Your mind is really messed up. What happened in reality seems like a maze. What I saw in a dream seems like reality. You've got a good friend. If I'm crazy, you're one step ahead of me. Said Nandini. At this time Chandramati came in. They are coming. They have come across Viranarayana Lake, she said.